Anyway, so today I wanted to talk about and demystify one of my favorite herbs, and that's goldenrod. And she's everywhere. This one, there's over a hundred species of goldenrod in North America, so this one was actually about this tall when I cut it, and this is one of the later blooming ones. And, um, and there's all sorts of sizes. There's one that I have at my house that's about this tall, and then this one came from my house as well, and like I said, I mean, it was a good six feet tall. So this is one of the larger species. Um, but a lot of people think that she is the culprit of their horrible fall allergies, and she's not. She, uh, goldenrod is um, a very useful edible, a very useful um, medicinal, but this guy right here is the culprit of your allergies. So this is ragweed. I won't shake her around too much. It's Ambrosia artemisia folia. And they're very different, but they are usually found together. And they bloom at the same time. But you can see the difference. This is the flower on the ragweed. And it's not very pretty. Um, but ragweed is wind pollinated. So it's got very light pollen and that's why it's everywhere. Goldenrod is insect pollinated. It's got very heavy and dense, almost moist pollen grains. So the only way you could get it in your nose is if you literally maybe stuck the plant in your nose and then maybe, I don't know, it's pretty heavy. So anyway, this is the culprit. You can see on um, the leaves, I'll pass the leaves around, and then I've got some handouts too if you don't, if you don't want to touch, but I'll um, pass the leaves around. The most distinct way, because you'll see the leaves way before you see the blooms, you can see that the, um, the ragweed is almost kind of like a giant fern, like it's lobed. Um, you can feel the difference in the leaves, and the goldenrod is what's lanceolate, so it's a lance-shaped leaf. Um, it's a little rougher feeling. It's my dad here. Yes. You can see. But you'll see these, you know, pop up in the garden, and, you know, one plant will have thousands of seeds. So a weed truly is a plant growing where you don't want it to grow, but there are a handful that I pick, and this is definitely one. There's one of these little guys in there everywhere. And it actually is used medicinally um, for those with seasonal allergies. 